Alright, what's happening everyone? Uh, so this is part two. Um, the primer is dried and now I'm going to lay down some uh, of the graphite. And the graphite I'm using is the True Color paint. And there's the uh, color number. And True Color says that you can paint without having to thin it, but I find sometimes if the bottles sit too long, and also certain colors, it's uh, easier just to go ahead and throw some thinner in there. It'll flow a lot better. Um, so with that, I'm just gonna just got a new airbrush. Showed my last video, the Wada Eclipse. First time using it, so hey, why not? Let's paint a model.
looks like it's coming out pretty nice. This uh, airbrush sprays real nice. Um, never used a, I've used a dual action a couple times, but uh, and the key here is what you're trying to do is you can see the uh, the end of the uh, firebox or not the firebox but the the boiler. Uh, right where that seam is, is where it's going to be masked and then uh, shot the black over. So pretty much only the areas from the uh, end of the boiler and then the firebox in the areas that get the, uh, the graphite color. Just uh, going to show a quick bit on how I do my masking. So what I use is the Tamiya masking tape, and they sell it in different widths. Uh, this is the 10 millimeter. They have a, I think this says six, yeah, six millimeter, and 18 millimeter, and then you can also buy the refills. So when you first buy it, it comes in this, and you can actually take it apart and refill it so you can reuse this container. The containers work pretty good. Uh, the only thing is when they tear off, it leaves a jagged edge on the tape. So what I usually use <clears throat> is I'll just do my final cuts with a scissor. It gives a nice straight edge. And what you want to do is um, put it along your edge and you can see this is the edge where over here is going to be black and then this is going to be still the graphite. What's nice about the <clears throat> Tamiya tape is you can tell when it's down. Oh, and this is a, uh, they call it a burnisher. You can get them at Michael's or whatever. It's usually used for like dry transfers and that kind of stuff. Um, and it's just a metal ball that you can use to rub, but it works really good for getting up against your edges and getting it the tape to seal down but what i was saying about the tamiya tape is you can tell when it's sealed down you can see how it turns dark because it's kind of transparent tape um of all the tape i've used this has got to be the best stuff 
the blue tape works okay. It's a lot thicker, whereas this is a lot thinner. Um, and all you do is you just kind of build up and just keep making multiple small cuts and work your way around everything. Um, <clears throat> it's nothing too bad. Uh, and they also the other thing too is when you go to do it, make sure and get a brand new sharp uh, number, I think these are number five blades. But that makes a huge difference when you're trying to cut this tape because the dull uh, blade will just tear and move all the, uh, the tape around and just kind of go against what you're trying to do. Um, so, and it's nothing, uh, <clears throat> it's nothing too, uh, too hard or too daunting. Uh, some people will actually, uh, lay this down on the glass and then cut an edge. This isn't glass, but same thing. And you can use a ruler and cut a straight edge because these come out pretty straight as far as edges go. But you'll still get some irregularities, and if you pull it funny from the container, sometimes it will cause that to happen. Um, but for the most part, oh, and the other thing too is the use of tweezers when doing this is huge. Um, so you just kind of stick it on there, and then I just run my burnisher, and if I come up against something that I need to uh, go around. That's when you just take the nice sharp blade and cuts right through it. And then you can just kind of push around it and then get your burnisher. And then I'll go in and probably just trim this back. Try not to push too hard to cut through the paint. So you can see having a sharp blade makes it a lot easier to get in there and uh, cut through. <clears throat> so you pretty much just repeat the same process, do the whole thing. So the other thing I just have to do is mask underneath here. So I'll probably just lay a piece of tape and get it underneath all the piping. Um, and then uh, the next step, I'll be uh, painting this black uh, just a little bit. All right, hey, uh, getting ready to shoot the black here. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and start spraying stuff. You don't want to do it all at once, you just kind of want to build up layers. Also, if you're painting stuff, such as like this tender, you're going to want to start at do all the bottom stuff so once you're done painting, you can set it down and then uh, not have to touch it.
anything that's been masked. Try and do it at 90 degree angles so it doesn't uh, build up underneath. getting too much where you get a run so it's kind of a weird happy medium. 